God bless you, neighbor. This is your truly evangelist, Willie Lewis, inviting you to view and listen and enjoy and be blessed by our program on tonight. To you out there, under the sound of my voice, I got some good news. And somebody may ask, what is the good news? I'm glad you asked. The good news I have tonight is the gospel of Jesus Christ. For Apostle Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. God is moving by his spirit. He's moving throughout all the land. Signs and wonders when he moves. Move, O oh Lord, in me. Listen, you that viewing us tonight uh, by way of Facebook Live, and you that's my guest on Eternal Life TV, oh, praise God, I'm excited for all of you that joining in tonight. God has a word for you. There are so many people is going through on every hand and every side. So many ministers is battling the spirit of depression, the spirit of oppression. But I want you to know that this is your hour for deliverance. This is your hour of deliverance for my God can do anything but fail. He is a deliverer. The word of God said, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquiet in me? Hope thou in the Lord. Hope in the Lord, for he is the strength of thy continent. Listen, let me tell you something. You that have or needs in your life, you that need somebody to pray along with you, I want you to submit your request. Those that viewing us on Facebook Live, put it in your comments. Put it in your comments. You that want prayer, just say pray for me, whatever it might be. Somebody, uh, a family member need prayer. Somebody, a uh, uh, person you work with, co-worker, need prayer. And those on Eternal Life TV, the viewing us, you can send all of your prayer requests to deliver me out at gmail.com. Deliver me out at gmail.com. Send your request, send your prayer. I want to believe God along with you. Why go around defeated? Why go around, amen, feel, feeling like giving up? For man's extremities is God's opportunity. It's your day. It's your hour. It's your time. For God to send a breakthrough in your life. You that, again, on Eternal Life TV, you my guest tonight on Eternal Life TV, send your prayer request to deliver me out at gmail.com. And those on Facebook Live, you put your request where the comments, and you can, on Facebook, send your happy faces, send your hearts, amen, 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 for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. I want you to tell a friend, tell a neighbor, amen, that we are on the air. Amen. That yours truly, Evangelist Willie Lewis, is on the air. 
ready to preach the word of God, ready to preach good news and glad tidings from out of the word of God. At this time, let's lift our hands up and let's give God a praise. Let's give God a glory, glory, and let's give God honor for God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Neighbor, this is your day. This is your time. This is your opportunity to receive from the Lord so that you can go out and bless somebody else. Go out and help somebody else because faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now to the word of God. Amen. I want you, as they say, when you're boarding a plane and sitting in the plane, get ready to take off. Fasten your seatbelts. Fasten your seatbelts. There's five folks. Just tell somebody in your house, fasten your seatbelts. Because we get ready to go out, go forward, and go up, 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 up to the wild blue yonder. In 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 13, it reads, And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do, thou hast, but make me thereof a little cake first. And bring it unto me. And afterwards make for thee and for thy son. Oh, precious God, we thank you for this day, this hour, that we are blessed to be accountable. And in the land of the living one more time. I pray tonight as I minister the word of God that folk will be saved, that people would accept you as their Lord and their Savior. I pray, God, that you will work a miracle in their lives. There are many out there, as the scripture said, it's like a multitude out there that's down in the valley of decision. They got to make a decision, and Lord, I want you to help them. I want you to bring them up, put their feet on a higher ground, and, and God work the work in their lives. And through the word of God tonight, let them get their deliverance. Amen? Through the word of God tonight, let shackles fall. Let yokes be destroyed. Amen? Let Satan and demons be bound. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. Praise the Lord. I'm going to use, I want you to first to know before I give you my subject, God uses people and things. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. I said God uses people and things. Really, tell the truth, God will use who he will, regardless of what you say. Yeah. It's not what you got to say, it's what God have to say. Because it's not about you, it's about God. But I want you, before we go into it, I want you to know that God uses people and things. My text is, is, is really a little comical, and it's at home, it's down to earth, nothing jaw-breaking, jaw but down to earth. 
And my text subject and title is Make Me a Cake. Hallelujah. What? Make me a cake. Make me a cake. As I read in verse 13, and Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do thou what thou hast, but make me thereof a little cake first. How many are out there like cake? Lift your hands up. I all right. But make me a little cake first. And after you make me a little cake, make one for yourself and for your son. We're going to go back to that in a little while. Throughout the Bible, the word of God, the word of God, which is the Bible, God delights in using people, things, God delight in using people, animals, amen, whatever you want to use, it make God happy to use it and to see the glory of God. Even the Bible said, if we human beings don't praise God, he will make and cause the rocks to cry out praises unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. God can do anything but fail. God delight in using people. But, uh, but tonight, I want to focus on uh, things in the Old Testament. Surprisingly, God used, and I'm not trying to be out of context, but God used a jackass. Mm -hmm. And somebody said, what is that? Well, it is a mule. It's a, a, a cross, an offspring of a horse and a donkey. The mule is smaller then the horse and remarkable, hard, patient, sure footed, and gentle animal. God in Numbers, the book of Numbers, chapter 22, we're going to read in a minute. Praise God that God used a jackass to save the prophet of God life. Mm -hmm. In Numbers 22 and 21, let us read. But Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princess of Maul. And God's anger was kindled because he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way <clears throat> for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass and his two servants was with him. Let's read. And the ass saw, excuse me a moment. A little dry. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and his sword drawn in his hand. And the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field. And Balaam smote the ass <clears throat> to turn her into another way. But the angel of the Lord stood in the path of the vineyard, <clears throat> excuse me, and walls 
being on this side and the wall on that side. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she thrust herself into the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. He smote her again. <coughs> And the angel, excuse me, and the angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow way where well, no way, uh, he had no way to turn either right or left. <clears throat> and when the angel saw the when the angel saw the Lord, she fell down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled mm -hmm. and smote the ass with a staff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the Lord opened the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, mm -hmm. What have I done? unto thee <coughs> that thou smitted me these three times. Mm -hmm. Verse 29, And Balaam saw, said unto the ass, Because thou hast marked me, I would there was a sword in my hand. For now I Kill thee. Angel told him, it's a sword in my hand, and so many words, and I'm getting I mean, and, and and I'm getting ready to kill you. And the angel said, I mean the, the ass said unto Balaam, this is a donkey, mm -hmm. said unto Balaam, Am not I thy ass? Amen. And upon uh Upon which thou has written upon me, praise God, uh, even since I was with thine upon this day, was I won't I ever won't do unto thee. And he said, Nay. In other words, the, the donkey, God opened the mouth of the donkey. And the donkey, which is called an ass, mm -hmm. began to start a talking. Mm -hmm. In verse 31, and the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam and saw the angel. And the angel standing in the way and his sword drawn in his hand and bowed down his head and fell flat on his face. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Wherefore hast thou smitten thy ass these three times? Behold, I went out to withstand thee, because thy way is perverted before me. Verse 33, and you will shout on this. And the, and the ass saw and turned from me. And the ass saw mm -hmm. and turned from me. Mm -hmm. These three times, unless she have turned from me, surely now also I slain thee, and I will save her life. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. Because the ass, because the donkey mm -hmm. obeyed God, All right. he saw what the prophet couldn't see. Didn't, couldn't see. All right. see, because the prophet was all taken up 
what the king promised him a whole lot of money uh -huh. if he just go and prophesy what he wanted him to say. Uh -huh. But because, and God didn't like that. God was really upset with Balaam. All right. And God used Balaam, uh -huh. as I, uh, that donkey, uh -huh. to save the life of Balaam. But Balaam would have been slain. Yes. But the donkey would have lived. Don't we serve a mighty God? Amen. Praise God. Yes, God uses animals. God uses the donkey. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the New Testament, remember Jesus roared through the city. Bless God on a donkey. Mm -hmm. Not he could have used a stallion, but he came through the city on a donkey. He started way up there on the Mount of Olives. Uh -huh. And it was high elevated above uh, sea level uh -huh. and above the town. And he started way up there so everybody uh, see him coming riding down on a donkey. Yeah. Previous to that time, he sent his disciples into the city and he saw through uh, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. He saw because he was the son of God. Well. He said there's going to be a, a donkey tied along with the coat. Mm -hmm. And when you go there, Tell uh, that individual to untie the donkey because the Lord and the coat, because the Lord had need of him. All right. Somebody out there tonight, the Lord have need of you. Right. And he started way up there, <clears throat> excuse me, on the Mount of Olives and came down through the city, riding on a donkey. Now, they really was looking for a deliverer. Yes. They were looking, the P Jewish people, I must tell you this, so you can understand what I'm talking about, the Jewish people was in captivity under Rome. Uh -huh. The Roman government now have come in and got the Jewish people and Israel, amen, under their captivity. And they were praying and they were always praying for deliverance, that God will send a Messiah. Uh -huh. Amen. That God will send a deliverer and bring them out of bondage and bring them to the land. Bring them out from under the rule of Rome so they can be free to worship God. And they were looking for somebody uh, coming down on the stallion. They're looking for somebody coming down with a legion of soldiers along with him. Mm -hmm. They were looking for someone to come down with a crown, proclaiming claiming that I'm king and I come to destroy uh, the Roman government. And when they saw this man, praise God, coming, riding on a donkey, the donkey re represent he was coming in peace. Yeah. It represented he wasn't coming for war, but he was coming for peace. Yes. And when the people saw him come down from the Mount of Olives and ride through the city, they took palm leaves from off of the palm trees mm -hmm. of the Mediterranean. They took the palm tree 
leaves down and spread them on the ground. Yes, Anybody praying for me here tonight? Right. Come on now. <laughs> and they spread them on the ground. And when they spread them on the ground, they begin to chant, Hosanna, yes. Hosanna, uh -huh. Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hosanna, Hosanna. Everybody was praising and praising and praising and praising. So, praise God, I looked up that word Hosanna. Amen. The Hosanna is a praise that the people cried out uh, in proclaiming praises unto God. Mm -hmm. But in the Greek, the meaning is God save us. Mm -hmm. Huh? Praise God. And we go a little further. Praise God. Save, please. Save, please. They've been under the Roman government, my God, a long time. And they say, I can't take it no more. Save, please. Yes. This is the one we've been praying about. This is the one that we've been crying out unto Jehovah God, the Messiah. Yes. Save, please. In Psalms 100. 18 and verse 25. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send thou now prosperity. Mm -hmm. God, use the donkey. Yes, God, use, amen, animals. Now, in the New Testament, also, there was a rich man and there was a poor man. I want to focus tonight on the poor man. Uh, the poor man named was Lazarus. Mm -hmm. He sat at the rich man uh, gates all the day long and all the day. All he wanted was some food that he would throw out to the dogs. Because outside the fence, dogs was there. Are you listening? They would throw out the bones to the dog. And he lot in Lavrus. Oh, amen. Well, hoping that they had some meat on those bones because he was hungry. God used the dogs. Mm -hmm. What did they do? He had sores. Do you hear me? Lazarus had sores on his legs. Mm -hmm. Lazarus had sores on his feet. Praise God. And God used the dogs All right. to lick the open Sores. One what uh, the living word said open sores. Mm -hmm. Use the dogs mm -hmm. to lick the open sores on Lazarus' body. Get this. Because it was God put some type of ingredients mm -hmm. inside of the tongue and the saliva. Mm -hmm. God Almighty of the dog. And when that saliva will touch the sores from Lazarus' body, the sore, the pain will go away. They'll they dry up and be as nothing because God used the saliva from the dogs and the saliva went and healed the souls on Lazarus' body. What a mighty God we serve. Please don't forget 
about the rooster. Hmm. Somebody say, you calling up all those animals at night. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I am. Praise God. How about the rooster? How about the rooster in the Bible, in the New Testament, in John? The rooster crowed in the word of God. And John, the 18th chapter, <clears throat> 25 and 27 verse. And Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. Let me back up so you know what I'm talking about. This is after they arrested Jesus mm -hmm. in the garden. Mm -hmm. This is after they took Jesus to judgment hall. Mm -hmm. This is after they beat him 39 times with cat and nine tails. Yeah. This is after they put a uh, old dirty cloak on his uh, sore body, bloody body, bloody back. This is after they put a crown of thorns on his head. At this time, prophecy came to pass. And Simon, Peter, y'all know about Peter? Peter! The one that said, Lord, I'll go with you. I'll be with you. I don't care what happened. Uh, them soldiers cannot come. And if they do come, I'll be your uh, uh, your uh, the, uh protection. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take care of them, Lord. I, Lord, you can depend on me. But Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, art not thou? Amen. Art not thou? Which would mean you and also one of his disciple, aren't you one of his disciples? Mm -hmm. Praise God, because he did not he he denied it and said, "I am not one." But one of the servants of the uh, the the man that ear was cut off was a kin person of that individual. That Peter cut his head, ear off. And he said, I saw it. And you can't deny it. Who, amen, Peter cut his ear off. Did not, listen, did not I see you, praise God, in the garden with him. Mm -hmm. Did not I see you standing with him. Mm -hmm. Did not see you pull out your sword and cut. My cousin here off. Mm -hmm. and then I heard him tell him, put up your sword. And he reached down on the ground, picked my cousin ear up and put it on his head. Mm. Hallelujah. Peter then denied again. And at that time, the Bible said, well. immediately the cock or the rooster Start crowing. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the rooster and the cock started crowing. God, Jesus told him, Peter, you're going to deny me. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the sign. The rooster or the cock will crow, will crow three times. Peter, you will deny me. Prophecy came to pass. Let's go on. God used giving not just money, but God used giving. A lot of preachers want you to believe they get they they, they give give give. Come on now. And the thing about it, you giving to them. Amen, Walls. Amen. You are giving to them. And they are getting richer mm -hmm. and richer mm -hmm. and richer. Mm -hmm. The rich is getting richer 
and the poor is getting poor. Come on now. Stick up men in the pulpit. They sticking you up. Misquoting the word of God. Praise God. But the Bible said, give and it shall be given unto you in good measures. Press down, shaking together and running over. Hallelujah. Shall men give unto your bosom. Praise the Lord. Five folks ought to start praising God right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. The Saint, that's Luke, the sixth chapter, verse 38 and 39. Praise the Lord. Lastly, God used the raven mm -hmm. to feed the prophet Elijah. Mm -hmm. Somebody give the Lord a hallelujah praise hallelujah. right now. Do you hear me what I say? I, I, I brought you down now to almost the conclusion. God used a raven because everything were dried up. Everything was porch. Mm -hmm. There was no rain for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And God used a raven to feed the prophet of God. What is a raven? A raven is a large, he heavy, built crow. A raven ain't nothing but a crow. A raven ain't nothing but a crow mm -hmm. with mainly black, beautiful, shining feathers. Mm -hmm. And the thing about a raven, it'll eat anything. Yep. Amen. But God used the raven mm -hmm. and brought food, food. bread, and meat in the morning. Bread and meat in the evening. And he drank of the brook. Well, what happened? He had a sandwich. In the wilderness, he had a sandwich. And, and went and drunk water from the brook. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God will make a way. Yes, Somebody out there tonight, I want you to know that God will make a way. Yes, now it comes to my text. The raven did what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Now God had another plan right. for he prepared a widow woman. Praise God, God. You hear me when I say God will. will prepare yes, he will. a blessing for you. It's already done. It's already done. Yep. And God prepared a widow woman mm -hmm. and told Elijah the brook have dried up. Mm -hmm. Sandwich time is over. It's time now to go out and be a blessing yep. to the willow woman. And he went to the willow woman. And the Bible said that God had prepared her already. Mm -hmm. And when he got there, he saw the willow woman and her child. Yep. Amen. Their stomach was touching their backside. My God, poverty has set in on them. Jesus. They were hungry. Malnutrition was all over them. Mm -hmm. And then she was gathering sticks to make a fire. Praise God, they're gathering for their last meal. For they told Elijah, yep. 
This is the last meal. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But the man of God told her to go first mm -hmm. and prepare a cake for me. She said, man of God, all I have is a little bit of meal, <laughs> a little bit of all. Mm -hmm. And me and my son, we're going to eat and we're going to die. Good God Almighty, praise God. Now you, man of God, have asked me to go and fix you some cake. Oh, we got just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I say, preacher? All we have is a little bit. Well, and we're going to eat it and die. Well, say it, somebody. Yes. Praise God, but man of God, nevertheless, amen, I'm going to obey God. Well, if God told you to tell me the first Fix you a cake. I don't want a big one, but just a little one. Fix me a cake. Anybody got cake here tonight? Praise God, fix me a cake. Fix me a little one. Mm -hmm. And you fix me a little one. Mm -hmm. Praise God, I'll go. Yes. Praise God, and I, 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 I fix the rest for my son. Somebody say yes. yes. Somebody say yes. Oh, yes. And I can imagine seeing her fixing the cake. All she had was a little bit of meal. All she had, my God, was a little bit of oil. And she was making the cake. She was blending in the cake mm -hmm. because she thought after I make it for the preacher. I ain't going to have none left because that man ain't ate in a long time. Say yes. Well. She made the cake, the little bit of cake. And when she made the little bit of cake, she had some, thank you, Jesus, had some left over, had some more cake. So she made a little bit for herself. Uh -huh. Then she made a little bit for her son. Uh -huh. So all three of them had some cake. Well. But the blessed thing about it, praise God, Elijah, good God, whoo, went into her kitchen. All right. Elijah, <laughs> the Tissabite, okay. <laughs> went where the meal, to the meal barrel, uh -huh. where she kept the meal. Good God. Elijah, amen, spoke the word of God, laid hand on the meal barrel uh -huh. and prophesied to the meal barrel. Uh -huh. Our Lord. And then he went over where the all was in a cruise and prophesied and laid hands on the all. Well, oh, Lord. It was both of them mm -hmm. was a little bit of oil. Both of them was a little bit of meal. Mm -hmm. But the prophecy was that your meal barrel will not run out, nor your oil crews run out. For I, God yep. Almighty, could God Almighty, I, I will prosper you. Yes. I will feed you. Uh -huh. I will increase you. I will help you. Mm -hmm. Be not dismayed. <laughs> Whatever be tied, God Don't. will take care of you. Well. You may have uh, a two little fish uh, and five loaves of bread. Uh, that's all right. Uh, God. Uh, can turn it around. Uh, say yes. yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn it around. And bless. And multiply. And the Bible said. That the widow woman. Ate. Until the days of phantom. 
was over. Well, Say glory to, God. Glory, to God. Glory, to God. glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody out there tonight, you're going through. You don't have what you want. Uh -huh. You say, well, I'm going to fix this little bit, and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where my next meal is coming from. But I'm reminded of a story that the late uh, R.W. Shambach told. He said when I was growing up round the table, they had a whole lot of brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and uh, no food. And But his mother was a praying woman. Well, Can you say yes, somebody? Yes. Say yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. She was a praying somebody. And so what she done, she got the kids together. <coughs> Excuse me. And when she got them together, they held hands, mm -hmm. had the plates empty, nothing in the plates. And mama began to pray. She said, oh, Lord, I thank you mm -hmm. for the meal well. that set before us. <clears throat> I thank you for the blessing. Yes. That you bestowed upon us. Mm -hmm. And our double C opened up one of his eyes and said, Mama, have gone cuckoo. Because we don't have nothing in the house. Well, we don't have nothing in the plate. Say amen. amen. But, but God, the woman, his mama, has faith. Yes. That's why the Bible said earnestly, contend for the faith. Well, that were once delivered to the children of old. All right. Wow. She was praying. Uh -huh. Wow. She was praying. God spoke to somebody. Uh -huh. God spoke to a missionary. Uh -huh. To go and get <clears throat> by two bags of groceries. And before... Good God. Before oh, she finished saying amen. Well, Before she finished saying thank you Jesus. Yes. There was a knock on the door. All right. Who is it? Mama said just stay there. Let me go and see who it is. And when the, his mother opened up the door this woman this missionary had two bags of grocery. Yes. You talking about a fit? They had a Holy Ghost fit. Well, because my God well, can supply. Right. My, God my God can do anything. My God well, never fail. Jesus never fail. Never. Heaven and earth well, pass away, but Jesus never fail. Never. He'll use you. He'll use animals. He'll use what he want to use. But all he want is somebody. Praise God and say, yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody to say, here am I, Lord. Send me. Yep. Somebody to say, oh, Lord, I'm putting my all on the altar a sacrifice and grace. Oh, Lord, here am I. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender to God. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Fix me a cake. Somebody right now, right now, right now, right now. We have the crossroads of your life. You're between a rock and a hard place. Praise God, your meal barrel is dried up. You just got a couple muzzles in it. Your all is depleted. And you're standing right now in a need of a miracle. And I want you to know my Bible said, call upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he will answer thee. Yeah. And show thee great and mighty things. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. 
will show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not. Somebody is going through depression. You depress, stress, and feel like you're getting ready to lose your mind. You saying in so many words, stop this world. I want to get off. I can't take it no more. But I want you to know this is your hour of deliverance. Amen. Somebody said, well, preach, I've been to a whole lot of preachers and they told me that I had to give um, a certain amount of money to get a miracle. And I don't have it no more. I gave money. Hey, man, I don't have it. I don't have it. But I'm still sick. I'm still, I'm still depressed. I'm still oppressed. I'm still burdened. I'm still down in the valley of decision. And I heard the word of God said, Ho, oh, every man that thirsteth, every one that thirsteth, come to the water. And then he said, He that have no money, come also. Mm -hmm. If he got it, good. If he ain't got it, come in the hell. Come to the water. Come to the fountain and be refreshed. Someone right now that don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins. Before I pray for the people, I must give an invitation. The songwriter says softly and gently, Jesus is calling. Yes. He's calling for you and for me. There's someone out there right now under the sound of my voice. You lost and you're headed for hell. You're on your way to hell. You don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins. But why die tonight and go to hell when Jesus prepared heaven for his beloved? And how can I enter? Nicodemus said, how can I be born again? Jesus said, not, not of the flesh, but of the water and the spirit. For he that cometh unto me, I will no wise cast out. All he wants you to do is come. His hands is stretched out tonight. Amen. On Facebook, come. Eternal Life Television, all over the world. He said, come. Come, yes. come, come unto me, and I will no wise cast you out. Though your sins be as scarlet, I make them white as snow. Come tonight. As you come tonight right in your home, you that want me to pray for you, you want me to pray for you, just put in your comments, Pray for me, preacher. Pray for me, preacher. Preacher, pray for me. I had a neighbor one night. Things were getting so bad in his life. He was opposite from me. It was in the other house that I was in. I heard him cry out. Praise God, by eight or nine o'clock at night, preacher, pray for me. Because I know prayer, answer, prayer. Is the answer. Prayer. Pray for me. And I want you to want to be saved. Want to turn your life over to God. You to have backslid. And want to come back to God. Pray for me preacher. And I'm going to breathe and say. This very simple prayer. And I want you to mean it in your heart. And you don't see. A supernatural transformation. Happening in your life. Right now. Repeat along with me, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I give my heart to thee. In the name of Jesus, I give my life to thee. In the name of Jesus, I accept you, Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, save me tonight. Jesus, transform me tonight. Jesus, I accept you 
as my Lord and my Savior. And Lord, I will live for you the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, yes, yes. It's happening right now. And I want you to don't stay home, but find a spirit-filled church and get in that church and work out your soul salvation with fear and trembling before God. Now you that got prayer requests, as I place my hand, right hand on my heart, other hand towards you, I'm getting ready to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will scratch out your mighty hand of deliverance. Somebody, somebody, I don't know the name. I don't know what city, <laughs> town, or country they in, but somebody needs you right now. Somebody's like the widow woman. All oh, that God is nothing. But God, man, God, you said that man's extremities is your opportunity. Right now, Lord, touch God. Work a miracle. Heal that body. Heal that leukemia. Heal diseases. Diseases in their body. I come against the spirits of oppression. I come against the spirits of depression. Yes, 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 yes. I come against the spirits of obsession in the name of Jesus. I command these spirits to loose that man, loose that woman. Yes, loose that boy and that girl. And right now I see in a home, it's chaos in a home. Right now the husband and the wife is fighting like cats and dogs. The Holy Ghost is showing it to me right now. And the children is scattered. The children is crying. The children is upset because of the action in the home. I got to pray the prayer of deliverance. Lord, send peace in that home. Bind up that demon of fighting. Bind up that demon of stress. Bind up that demon, amen, of, of, of murder. Hallelujah. Bind it up, that fighting spirit, and bring love. Bring love. Bring love. Bring love into that home. Bind them up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let them get right with one another. Let them get right. The man get right with his wife and the wife get right with her husband. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. How much time I got? Praise God, listen to me. I want to tell you that viewing us tonight, oh, I feel the presence of God. I got about 60 seconds left. And I want you out there on Facebook Live before I close tonight. If you didn't put in your prayer request, put it in. Because I'm coming back later and I'm going to send a prayer personally to you. You that's on viewing us by Eternal Life TV, I want you to send your re prayer request to deliver me out at gmail.com. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Deliver me out at gmail.com. Send your prayer request because the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. He want to raise you up. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Give God the honor. Yes. 
because he has already prepared your blessing just for you. And as always, may the Lord bless you real good is my prayer. God bless you and good night.